everyone, my name is Mary, and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you the books that I plan on reading in December of 2019. I don't typically do monthly TBRs, I prefer themed TBRs, however the theme of this TBR is books I've been meaning to read for months but just got sidetracked because graduate school is hard. So I want to share with you some of the things that I plan on reading now that all of my papers are starting to wind down. Give me a couple of weeks, we'll get there. My papers are starting to wind down, I'm going to grade all my students' essays, and then I have a couple of weeks where I'll just be able to do my own work. And I'm very excited to actually have some time to read for myself. So let's get started. The first book that I plan on reading in December of 2019 is this one, Walk Through Walls. It's Marina Abramovic's memoir. Marina Abramovic is a performance artist from Serbia, and she is a remarkable person. I have started reading this. I have started. I'm about 50 pages in. It is something that I would love to read in its entirety and do a review on because I think that she is so interesting and remarkable. I'm not someone who typically gravitates towards performance art, but some of her pieces really just for some reason stick out in my mind when I think of performance art and modern art in general. Marina Abramovic, I'm hoping to read this one and I will probably talk about it most thoroughly in my next book from every country wrap up because that is definitely what I am trying to read this for but please do let me know if you have read this and what you thought about it and let's have ourselves a nice conversation about Marina. Another book that I have certainly already started is this one, The Orange Balloon Dog by Don Thompson. You can see my copy is already, it's got all of these little sticky notes in it because I have started it and it's fabulous so far. Don Thompson I spoke about because this is on my art history TBR video that I've already done so I won't talk about it too much but he's one of my favorite authors to discuss the contemporary art market. I love his book The Twelve Million Dollar Stuffed Shark, The Curious Economics of the Contemporary Art Market and I wanted to read this one and then I will read I think he has another book called The Supermodel in the Brillo Box and I will read that one as well because I love the way that he writes and I do want to read this it's just been quite busy so I will get through this eventually I promise. My major interest in study, of which I have several, is the way that people in the 19th century wrote about, made art about, thought about the Middle Ages. Because a lot of the things that we consider to be popular knowledge about the Middle Ages actually originated in the 19th century. Some of you might be familiar with Notre Dame, the cathedral that caught fire last year, and one of the interesting things about Notre Dame that now people are starting to t realize what I'm talking about is that the spire that was on top of Notre Dame was a 19th century edition designed by Eugene Viollet le duc So there's a lot of things that are done in the 19th century to the Middle Ages that I find very interesting. I preface that so that you understand what I'm talking about when I talk about this book, Chivalry and the Medieval Past, edited by Katie Stevenson and Barbara Gribling. This is a book about chivalry, but about chivalry after the Middle Ages as well and what the concept of chivalry means because it has a lot to do with history, it has a lot to do with nationalism, it has a lot to do with gender dynamics. So to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, this painting here is of Victoria and Albert in their best medieval garb. Obviously that's not what people dress like in the Middle Ages. It is a Victorian conception of the Middle Ages. That's what I'm very interested in. And so I'm hoping that this book with its edited collection of essays will be absolutely fantastic because I need some good material for it for next semester. Because next semester I am doing an independent study on 19th century medievalism, especially the Gothic revival. So to that end I'm also reading Manufacturing the Middle Ages, Entangled History of Medievalism in 19th Century Europe, edited by Patrick J. Geary and Gabor Kalinsky. So this is an edited volume which talks all about how people in the 19th century constructed what we think of as the Middle Ages. This is a thoroughly academic book. I have flipped through it a little bit, but it seems absolutely helpful for my research. So I am hopeful that this one is as good as it sounds. Both of these are obviously library books, which means that I need to get through these sooner rather than later. I was hoping to get through one of them on Thanksgiving break, but that didn't quite happen. So I'm going to have to power through these in the couple of days that I have between the end of my semester and when I go home. 
because it is getting a little bit colder, some of the books that I want to start reading are going to be from colder countries, especially those that I'm reading for my Book From Every Country TBR. And the first of those that I want to read is called The Ice Palace by Tarje Vesace, Vesace. And this one is translated by Elizabeth Broken. This is a Norwegian book and Norway is one of my favorite countries in the world. I have been there several times and it is absolutely stunning and I could not wait to get to my Norwegian authors. This is a book about some children, some young people who come across an ice palace and one of them gets stuck within it. And I think it sounds like a perfect, chilly, cold, terrifying kind of book. And I am very much looking forward to it, so I hope it lives up to my expectations. Another suitably wintry book that I want to read is The Terror by Dan Simmons. The Terror is about the 1945 HMS Terror Arctic Expedition and tells the story of people who are frozen to death and all of the things that happen to them. And it sounds like a perfect, creepy, chilly read for December and I'm very much looking forward to it. I hope it's good. I have heard The Terror, which is I think an HBO show, is amazing. Um, so I'm hoping this book also does very much the same thing. We'll see how it goes. For my classics TBR, I am planning on reading News From Nowhere by William Morris. William Morris of beautiful wallpaper fame actually wrote a socialist utopian novel about how everything is going to be so much better when we dispense with capitalism and make things with our hands. It sounds very strange. I'm really looking forward to it. I hope that it is as good a novel as the premise sounds because this is something that I have found in some utopian 19th century writing is that they spend so much time exploring the world that the characters aren't really fleshed out. So we'll see what happens. I am very much looking forward to this one. Speaking of classics, I'm also planning on reading Flatland, A Romance of Many Dimensions by Edwin Abbott Abbott, which is another 19th century classic, which is a take on a world which exists in only two dimensions. And men are shapes and women are lines. And it's a parody of Victorian society. I think Katie at Books and Things was not a huge fan of this. However, I am looking forward to trying it myself and I figure if it's not good, it's only a couple of, I think it's like a couple hundred pages, maybe less than. It should be extremely short. So I think I can stomach through it for that. Alright, so those are the books that I'm planning on reading in December of 2019. I hope that there are some of these books that have sparked your interest as well. Please tell me what you are reading now that the months are getting colder and I hope I'll be able to do a December wrap up and an end of the year wrap up at the end of the year. So please do let me know what you are planning on reading this month. Thank you very much for watching. Bye!